G'day guys, how's it going? My name's Nick and this is my channel Low Range Nick where I do videos about four driving, uh, accessory fitting and also maintenance for your four drive vehicle. Uh, welcome back to another video. In today's video I'm going to show you how to fit the red Isuzu badge to the front grille. So I'm going to change the chrome one for the red Isuzu badge and I'll just show you how easy it is. So originally when I looked for the red Isuzu badge, I talked to the dealer and the dealer said they could get one uh, through the parts department for about $180. Um, so I decided to do a little bit of research because I thought that was a bit expensive and ended up finding it online on eBay, um, direct from Thailand, which is where the car is made, uh, the red badge for $20. So I ended up ordering one of those and uh, about two weeks later, I think it was about two, the uh, badge turned up and uh, yeah, perfect condition, looks exactly the same as the, uh, the one the dealer would have supplied me with and uh, saved 160 bucks, so all good. Okay guys, so if you're wondering what sort of tools you'll need to change the chrome Isuzu badge to the red Isuzu badge, you'll need three or four tools depending on whether you have something. So the main things you need, Phillips head stubby screwdriver flat blade stubby screwdriver, some side cutters, and now this is the optional tool, so you may need this. If you have this, it'll make it easier. If you don't have it, it's not the end of the world. You can use the flat blade instead. The first thing I'm gonna do is just pop the bonnet and then gain access to the top of the uh, chrome grill. Some of you guys might be wondering, well, how long is this installation going to take? I mean, because you know, time's important. Well, I reckon by the time I finish this, it'll be done. So if you have one of these little trim tools, that'll work perfect. Um, but if you don't have one of those, a flat blade screwdriver, or even a little stubby flat blade will work fine as well. So with the uh, trim removal tool, you can quite easily just get under it, flick it up. And that'll come out just like that. With the flat blade, it might be a little bit more difficult, but not too much. So you just, similar thing, you sort of just pry it up and work your way around and you can get it straight out just like that. So along the edge here, there's five Phillips head screws. So I'll just take those out with this screwdriver. So now that I've got all those plastic rivets out and I've got the screws out as well, I'm just going to remove this plastic trim here and just get it out of the way just so it's really easy to access the back of that grill and uh, cut the pins that hold that badge in. So under this black plastic trim, there's a couple of little clips. So you just need to put your finger under it, push the clip up and then you can pull the trim outwards. So if you just lever it back a bit, you can quite easily just pop it off like that. There's three of those little plastic clips just holding that in. They'll come off fairly easily. And you can just pull the grill back just that little bit and then just get that trim out. So now we've taken this black plastic trim off, we've got really easy access to the back of the grill where there's three pins which hold this uh, Isuzu badge in. So here you can see the three pins. So you can see one there, one there, and one down there. So they're the three pins that hold this Asuzu badge in. So you can see that they have the uh, little locking collar on them. And now they're pretty hard to get off because it's locked onto the plastic. So what we're going to do is just chop that bit off and uh, take the badge out. So now we've cut them off, it'll be pretty easy to get these off. There we go. So these come in real handy when you're trying to get these off. 
Um, otherwise, you can use a flat blade screwdriver. There you go. Now the badge should just pop out. The Isuzu badge should come out really easy now. Just give it a little push from behind, and it'll come out just like that. So there you have it. So now it's time to change the chrome one to the sick red one to add 20 horsepower. So all we'll do now is just line up the holes, sit that new badge in, like so. That seems to sit in there without any dramas, so you can just leave it in there. What do you reckon? I think it looks better already. So the uh, badge kit comes with three little screws and just a little tip, if you chuck some washers on, it'll make sure that it pulls the whole badge really tight and pulls it right back into the housing. Um, otherwise, if you just put the screws in, it looks like there could be a little bit of play, so it might rattle around. So I'm just gonna put, yeah, three washers on each of those screws and then screw it in from behind. Get the uh, washer on there as well. So I'll just pull the grill back a little bit just to get that in. And then once it's in, I've just got to try and clip it into those little plastic plugs we have to pop it out of. They're all popped in there. Now we can just chuck these screws back into the front of that little black plastic trim. We've done those screws up tight and put these little black plastic clips in. They just push in and you just push the top down. Well, I'm sorry guys, but I did lie to you just a little. Uh, it takes approximately three quarters of a beer to do this job. Unless, of course, your beer to time consumption ratio is a little bit higher than mine, you may consume a full beer. Uh, but for us, three quarters of a beer, badges in, and it looks sweet. So the final touch, gotta to give it a nice little polish. Nice little polish there, just to make sure she's uh, nice and clean before you take her out on the highway. Well, thanks for watching, guys. This has been the first modification to the Isuzu MUX. And I think I read somewhere that the red badge adds like 15 to 20 horsepower. I think I read it online somewhere. So I guess we'll see on the road test, uh, you know, how much sort of extra power I've gained from this red badge on the front. Um, but appreciate you guys watching. If you enjoyed it, please give us a thumbs up. And uh, if you're not already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and uh, stay tuned to all my future videos because um, we'll be doing a lot of videos uh, related to the Isuzu MUX and the build up of it and also off-roading with it and uh, our future trips. So thanks a lot for watching guys and thanks to my subscribers, I really appreciate it. Cheers guys.